Hello everybody, <laughs> welcome back to the journey, my name is Hans, your host, and today we're going to be turning in slot. Okay, anyway, uh, we're going to be talking about forgiveness today, so let's go on over to the whiteboard, and bada bing, that's not the right one, here we go. Yeah, I'm smaller now, I cropped myself. Yeah, yeah, I'm small now. I can crop myself even more. Uh, just like... Uh, okay. Anyway. Tiny square, Hans. And, uh... Pen. Board. Let's go. Topic of the day. Forgiveness. Boom. That's what we're talking about today. So, basically... Forgiveness you know, is, you know, forgiving somebody for doing something to you, or forgiving somebody for doing something, just in general, so, you know, you know, just like, I don't even think there's a simpler way to put it, <laughs> like, you know, it's just kind of like, it, maybe you can put it as like, you know, letting go, go of, uh, I'll call it external events, events so you know somebody cuts you off in traffic or you know it gets your order wrong at mickey d's or whatever fast food chain that you like um a restaurant or something you know like you know you just forgive them you know like person cut you off you know the you know they might have meant to do it they might have not that's not the point the point is Letting go of it happening. Because if you hold on to that resentment or anger or hate or whatever emotion comes up to you, you're creating burdens for yourself. And if you think about it like that, it sounds kind of silly, right? You know, you're like, because you know, you, you probably got like bills to pay right maybe you got kids to take care of or pets or you know like a dog or a cat or something birds or something you know a job i don't even know like you know you know shows to watch i don't paint you know hobbies friends that's nice but hobbies Anyway, friends, you know, outside activities, All right? That's a lot of stuff right there. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight things. You know, maybe you don't have a pet or whatever, so it's down to seven. Maybe you don't watch those, so you know, so you know, it's down to six now or whatever. So, you know, take, you know, take it out, resonates if you will, but you know that. If you have all this, that's a lot of stuff. And then you're going to tell me, you know, somebody who might not have even meant to cut you off. You're going to hold on to something. You're going to hold on to that resentment or hate or anger and add something else. You know, just add that. So that's another thing. And, you know, and, you know maybe you have all of those emotions. So you have hate, resent, and anger. And I've just added three things. It's a lot of things until you're already pretty full plate. And, you know, maybe you even have a side hustle. Right? And maybe you're trying to start your own business or something. So, you know, you got all of this stuff and then you're just going to add three things to it. Right? Like, you know, I definitely get, I'm not saying I'm perfect, right? You know, oops, let me net the mic there, the mic stand. You know, I'm not saying I'm perfect here being like, Mr. Yeah, I'm not saying I'm Mr. Perfect or anything like that, but you know, because you know, I definitely like feel the annoyance or yeah, that's usually how I feel if somebody cuts me off in traffic or whatever, or, you know, any other external event, you know, I feel the emotion, right? I'm not saying I'm emotionless. However, you know, I... I go and I'm like, okay, you know what? It's external. It, right? 
because very rarely uh, <laughs> is it really ever a threat to my health. You know what I mean? So it's like, wow. Or is it really ever gonna? Is that? Is it really that? It's r rarely ever that big of a threat. And even if it was that big of a threat, you know, we still must forgive, because if we hold on to this, right, that's a burden we have to carry with us for however long we choose to take it with us, right? So, you know, let's say bills, kids, pets, job, and hobbies, right? So you have five things guaranteed every single day, and then, you're car and then you choose these three just to carry extra on top of those five things. And, you know, it happens, like, on a Monday or something. I don't know. And then, you know, you remember... And you, and you don't forgive them. So then it carries on from... So it happens on Monday. Right? That's just when it happens. And then it carries on to Tuesday. And then if you don't forgive... Or you, like, don't forget about it or something like that... Then you might carry on on to Wednesday. And then, you know, just continue. Continues to Thursday. And then Friday. And then Saturday... And then Sunday, run out of space over here. I can just create more, All right? And then you know it just loops again, and you go to and it just sits with you. So now you're carrying all this stuff, all this extra stuff that you're already piled up. You got bills to take care of. You got kids to feed. You got pets to take care of as well. You got a job to go to. You got your hobbies to upkeep. That's a lot of stuff. Only like 24 hours in a day. You got all this, and then you're going to add this stuff onto it? Yeah, I'm not saying forgiveness is easy. Though, if you forgive that person for cutting you off or whatever they did, you remove this. And then you'll probably remove this as well. And then you'll remove this as well. And now look at that. You have extra time. Uh, maybe you can talk to your friends more now. Or maybe better friends will show up in your life. Because you're not holding on to this hate and resent and anger because, you know, uh, we are energy fields, kind of, like, I'm not trying to get super, uh, super, super woo-woo, I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible, but, you know, like, uh, you get what you put out, right? So if you're putting out hate, resent, and anger because some dude cut you off, then you're going to get back hate, anger, and resentment in some way, shape, or form. So if you forgive and get rid of that and replace it with, like, love or some other happy or even a neutral feeling, right? Then instead of gaining these negative qualities back, you'll gain those positive things like love and, uh, you know, let's say joy, uh, just happiness, you know, etc. And then if you replace that with that because you've forgiven them, then, you know, you'll meet friends that also do something similar and so on and so forth. And I mean, pardon the burp. Um, so yeah. And then uh, the other part is not only I almost forgot about it. I knew there was one other thing that I was going to talk about. So it's not even the external events. So like somebody cutting you off or whatever, right? That That's one thing, you know, forgiving other people. But then you also have to, well, if you want to enhance yourself even more, it's forgiving yourself, uh, the self. Because if you, this is great. This will get you pretty far. However, if you don't forgive yourself, then you'll still have some of these negative thoughts and feelings about yourself, and then it'll kind of perpetuate what I said uh, about uh, about this, right? Where if you have those 
lingering feelings of hate, resentment, anger, or whatever, negative emotions, and you just have that energy energy about you, then you'll attract that towards you. So if you have these positive ones, then you'll attract that towards you, and so on and so forth. So letting go of the external events, like someone cutting you off in traffic, or flipping you off for some reason, or getting your order wrong at a Mickey D's, or BK, or whatever, right? You know, I'm not saying, like, if you really wanted that order, you know, yeah, you can go get it corrected. I'm not saying just take what they give you, right? If you wanted your McChicken or whatever instead of a Big Mac, you know, you can go get it corrected. What I am saying is don't go in there and just, you know, be snotty, right? Keep it like PG, right? You know, don't go in there ranting and raving and, like, calling them names and whatnot, that's not going to get you anything. And in fact, that would bring, if you're following what I'm putting down with the emotions and whatnot, if you go in there ranting and raving about things, then, you know, maybe at your job, whatever it is, somebody would come and rant and rave at you. And I know you're not going to like that. <laughs> no, I mean, maybe you would. I don't know what you like. I know I wouldn't like that. I know I don't want people coming up to me and just being like, that, 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 or, you know, very angry and whatnot. I know I wouldn't like that. I know probably a lot of people in this world don't like that, so, you know, you can go get your order corrected or whatever. Just don't go in there being all snotty and stuff. Forgive them, just because people make mistakes. We all make mistakes, and in the fast food industry especially, you know... They're, like, pressed for time and whatnot. I don't, you know. <laughs> you know what I mean? They really aren't given too much leeway and stuff. It's kind of harsh. <laughs> I haven't worked fast food, though. I had friends that work in it, and they... They rarely have much good to say. So, if you give some of the people in there some forgiveness... Uh, I'm sure they'd much appreciate it. And not only <laughs> are you getting their appreciation, you're also helping yourself. So, yeah, there's that. Um, though, on a deeper level, depending on how deep you want to go, you must forgive the self as well. Because, you know, if you can forgive them for it, then you must forgive yourself as well. Um, that didn't come out. As that, that might have made sense. If that made sense, great. Uh, however, I'm trying to figure out how to phrase it to make at least a little bit more sense. Oh, yeah, that's what I was saying. If they can make mistakes, we all make mistakes, right? Or we all do something that it gives us the ability to gain wisdom and learn from our experiences if you don't want to say mistakes. So if that person, uh, if you can give that person that grace, um, all right, give person grace, then uh, give yourself grace, or say the self. then giving yourself grace will also enhance that because it just like they you also make mistakes or have experiences that you can learn from and improve upon so I feel like there's something else about forgiveness though that that's pretty much the majority of it if it comes in here uh, right at the end, then, um, ah, uh, yes, uh, if we can do at least this first part, uh, I know the world will become a much kinder and a much nicer place, um, so, yeah. 
and an, an even better world would uh, come about if we go and do this as well. If if people are doing both of these things, right? If we're, if we're doing, if both are happening, both happen. Lots of love, kindness, uh, care, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You know, all the good stuff, happiness, right? Joy. It'll it'll ease, right? A lot of that stuff will follow because, you know, we're saying, hey, it's okay to mess up. And in society, we have a lot of pressure to not mess up, to not make mistakes, right? In school um, and at jobs as well, right? Like, That forgiveness will call, it, will create the ease and love, kindness, caring, in a world that is, you know, more forgiving. <laughs> you know, circular reasoning or something like that, right? Um, but yeah, like I, I know, the schools like, you know, I went to the schooling system just like anybody there. Uh, I had some pretty good teachers, so there was forgiveness and whatnot, and that was great. Um, and I, I don't really have anything bad to say about my teachers. Um, however, I do know that a lot of people's experiences are something else. So, yeah, forgiveness, because we are all learning a lot of different things at very many at very different times so yeah the forgiveness will go a long way and create places that will just be overall more enjoyable to be at so yeah Uh, those are the benefits of forgiveness. Um, the only con that I can think of, if you, uh, which would will feel like a con in the moment, however, really isn't, is having an ego death. Like there's only one con, and that's the ego death. However, it's not even a con. It's a, it's a massive pro. Because if your ego dies, then you have the ability to build confidence. Because confidence comes from within. Whereas I can talk about it in a different video uh, more in-depthly. Um, however, confidence comes from within. Ego comes from external. So if your ego dies... Like bad ego, because just like anything can be good or bad, if your bad ego dies, or like negative, I'll say, so it's a pro. Um, it just can be a bit painful. That's like. You know, he might be like being like, then they're like, oh, what's the catch? What's the catch? Oh, this only sounds like uh, pros, pros, pros. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of pros. This would be the only negative, which is really just a pro. It's more. It benefits you more. Right? Holding on to the ego that is negative and spewing negative stuff is just... It's not really helping you in the long run, and it certainly isn't helping people externally, so... It'll hurt. However, there is more pro in it, there is more good in it, than... More good in it than it might feel like in the moment. 
Um, so yeah, uh, that's all I had to say about forgiveness. Um, I kind of want to go into ego, so we might shift into ego. Let me see the recording length. This is going to be uploaded raw anyway. It's 20 minutes. Hmm. Well, I started talking about the ego. Let's not tease you guys. So, um... Uh... You guys, if you want to screenshot it, you can pull, you can pause it and screenshot it or whatever. I am going to clear it. Control A. Delete. All right. So now we are talking about the ego. Oh, wait, this is going to go up to three. Uh, one, two, uh, I like my three pixels. Oh, wait, no, that's because I'm using the wrong tool. So there we go. Yeah, it's this one. So now we're going to be talking about ego. We're shifting ego. So um, this is my interpretation of the ego. So we're going to draw like a somewhat 3D body. I'm going to put the guy in a meditative state or a meditative pose, right? Oh, that's, that's, not, that's not how legs work, right? It, it's more like that and then right and it's like that. And then you got your feet. This is how I like to meditate. Yeah. And then, uh, whoop. boom, feet together. Uh, and then like hands together as well, you know, hand, hand, boom, boom. Meditation. All right. Anyway, uh, I was doing that for a reason. I remember the reason. All right. So, right. Uh, if you are unfamiliar with chakras, um, here's like a very, very rudimentary, um, like breakdown of it. We have a root. I'll get the colors as well. We have root, sacral. Solar plexus. Man, that yellow is really hard to see. Um, heart. Throat, which is blue. Uh, uh, fucking third eye, which is like indigo, so yeah, this works. And then our crown, which is like right at the top of our head. So, like, you know, right up here, this is your crown chakra. Um, and this is what I believe in it's um, about as well. I'm going to use pink just because I want to. Uh, the, I've heard and through my meditation and whatnot, I have found this to be at least somewhat true. Um for me, it's true. So if it resonates, great. If it doesn't, well, I can assure you, we all have an ego. That much I know. Where it resides, I believe it to reside in the right side, right? We have the heart on the left side and we have the ego on the right side. So left breastplate thing, right breastplate thing is ego. Heart here, where the heart is, right? And then the ego and that like open space on the right side. I've been rambling for like 20 minutes. Let me get a, a grip of drink real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Grab the black again. So, this is the chakras 
and that is my belief. There's a lot to go into all the chakras, so I'm going to leave it very basic at that. So, we have the root, just to go over it briefly again. Root, sacral, uh, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye, crown. And then, there is a belief that I also believe, <clears throat> pardon me, to be very true, is that the ego resides on the right side of the chest in the heart chakra. Because, uh, and I believe that, because in the times in which I have experienced an ego death, I have felt like, kind of like a heaviness, like a pain in this right side of my chest. So like, yeah, we're like right here. I hope that's getting picked up on the camera. There we go. A little better. So like over here. Over. Oh man. Man, my mic is just like covering it. Wherever I go. So yeah. Here. There you go. Now you get it. Um, <laughs> If you didn't before. So over there, you know, I felt like a pain or like a depression, if you will. Because, you know, of course... My ego was dying. It doesn't feel super great. However, I know that the after effects of the ego dying is really good. Because when you put your ego to the side. And you just like allow it to wash away. You open up a lot of space to be filled with love, kindness compassion uh <laughs> i'm feeling compelled to say hippie shit because that might resonate with some of you um uh however one of the big things that can be filled with is confidence as i was briefly mentioning before so I'll explain the difference between confidence and ego, right? Because ego, very briefly, is who we believe we are. And it's usually based on external um, experiences. I'll do slash items. So, you know, it's like, uh, I'm an artist because I have paint brushes and paint and paintings, right? Or I am a podcaster because I write, uh, I record videos and upload them to YouTube and it's usually just me talking into a mic. I am a voice actor because I am in this thing or this thing. Or I'm at least auditioning, right? Or I am a drummer because I play the drums, right? Um, or, and so on and so forth, right? So that's what the ego does. It, it tells us who we believe we are based on external experiences rather than basing it on internal thoughts and beliefs and that's partially where confidence comes from so yeah now that we have a basic definition of what ego is i'll explain the difference between confidence and ego and how to know if you have uh egotistical confidence or I call it innate confidence. So if you have confidence coming from within, so if you have innate confidence, right? If someone comes and like insults you or says, oh, you're not this, oh, you're not that, or you're a bad person, or you're this, you're blah, 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 whatever, whatever, you know, hateful or 
negative thing they say towards you, right? You'll more than likely brush it off. Off. Negative. Comments. Because deep down, you have created a sense. You have created a sense and a deep knowing within yourself that you are not what they are putting forth, right? So, you know, let's say someone calls you lazy and then, you know, if you have innate confidence, you're going to uh, just be like, uh, well, you might look at them funny. You might be like, what? Huh? And if it's like a comment online, you might just be like, okay. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> However, and then you'll like just kind of like ignore it. Right? So you know, some people might be compelled to be like, I'm not, right? Or whatever. Um, however, one of the lessons I'm learning um, and putting it to practice more and more is um, just don't put your energy or effort towards things. So, you know, if somebody like comes and comments on a thing being all negative one and whatnot, you know, it's just kind of be like, okay, whatever, right? Just like report, block them, and then move on, right? Anyway, back to the topic. That is the lesson I'm learning right now. So, right. Uh, if it's egotistical confidence. I'm going to finish writing this and then go back to that. I'm feeling called to talk about it very briefly. Uh, a little bit more. All right. Um, I do notice people. They like. Talking about, hold on, let me, th let me get how I want to word this. We have grown as a society online to, um, Hmm. It's a very delicate subject matter, so I'm I appreciate your patience. Um I'll say it like this. We, as a, as, as a society, have grown to create unnecessary drama. That is how I will say it. That is how I will leave it. And I will make no further comments on it. And we're going back to the confidence. So, innate confidence. You brush off negative comments because you're like, I know I'm not this. So you're just like, don't even interact with it. So, you know, back to that negative comment, you're just like, okay, whatever. I know I'm not lazy because I do this, 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 and this, and you might not even interact with them. Egotistical confidence, you'll get defensive. That's not how you spell defensive. Defensive. Uh, overstatement. Made by someone else. I'll say external. Made by external um, experience. <clears throat> it's all right. The difference, right? You brush it off, right? Innate confidence, I'll say it one more time. Somebody says you're lazy, you're like, I'm not lazy. It's just kind of like, I'm not lazy. I, I do this, 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 this thing. 
if that's what you define as lazy, be my guest. I don't care, right? I know I'm not lazy. Suit yourself. Though, if you have egotistical confidence, when somebody comes and says, oh, you're lazy, oh, you're this, oh, you're that, you're going to you're gonna go up in arms. You're going to be like, oh, you're calling me lazy, right? And so on and so forth, right? You're, you're up in arms. You're ready to fight that. You're trying to, you're, you're ready to defend um, ready to defend that you're not lazy. And that's the difference. And being able to recognize the difference, um, in your own actions is very important because it will allow you to have your ego die and then you can go build confidence. So if you notice yourself going up in arms at what people say and do uh, as an external experience around you, I would like to invite you to take it as an opportunity, if you so choose to take it as an opportunity, to examine yourself and turn that experience outside of you that external experience and turn it into a partial ego death but uh, a builder of confidence that is the cyclical uh, effect of an ego death so if your ego dies ego death right uh Uh, life confident com I'm trying to think of the um, conjugation of it life confidence confident life and we'll roll with it I think, I think you get my point and then well I guess there would be kind of like Maybe four things, right? Because if your confidence dies, right, then you'll gain ego life. Well, let me continue, right? Ego death leads to confident life. And then that confident life you can put towards a positive ego. Right? So let's say, let's we'll, we'll stick with the lazy example. So... So ego, we'll put ego life. And then you notice it, so then uh, we'll write acknowledge ego. So you have your, your, your ego is full of life. You acknowledge the ego. You kill it. It dies. Uh, you know, you experience ego death. Experience. Uh previous step then you have the ability to build a confident give life the confidence and then with that light uh, the bringing to life the confidence you can build a positive ego because just like everything right doesn't matter what it is everything is innately neutral it is how we use it that will bring it to negative or positive right so the ego if it is in negative right or all right neg or negative uh so you acknowledge the negative ego and then you kill it and then you experience the ego death then you breathe life in the confidence and then you can create a positive ego where you can use that confidence to create experiences to show your 3D self, right? That you are not lazy, right? So, right? Healing work is called work because it's it is work. It takes a lot of work. Um, 
a lot of meditation, a lot of internal battles and all that jazz and whatnot. So, if you think it's being lazy, being called to say, don't think it's lazy. Don't think it's lazy. It is a lot of work. It is very painful. And it is very tiring. So, anyway. Yeah, that I, uh, I'm trying to think of how to elaborate a bit more. Elaborate it a bit more. Of turning the confidence into positive ego. Because, ah yes. If you have the negative ego life, right? You acknowledge it. You kill it. You experience what that ego death is like. And then you go internally and then you start building confidence. Then what you can do is you can start taking actions to make yourself not feel lazy. And that might just be like rethinking about how you perceive things, right? Like healing work, as I just said, right? It is kind of arduous, kind of tedious, uh, definitely painful. Um... And it is called work for a reason. So if somebody's out there being like, oh, I'm being lazy because I'm healing myself. Don't. You are being very productive. It is good work. It's honest work if you need to hear that. And it is positive to heal yourself. So, yeah. And then there's your other things, right? Resting is also positive. I know in society we have a little bit of, I know I had it a little bit ingrained in me that we uh, can't rest, that we always got to be on the move. No, 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 you can rest. I mean, let me tell you, you can rest. If you need to just like go sit in the forest or whatever, or you need to sit and lay down in your bed and just like not move the entire day or something, and that's, that's healing to you, and that's restful, you go do that, and don't you feel ashamed for that, because we need rest, right? We are worked like machines, and we are not. So take that rest however you want it to be. Um, and that, that's another thing. That's all I got to say for that right now. Um... However, yeah, that's kind of like the cycle. So, you know, you have negative ego life in you. You acknowledge it. You kill it. You experience that death. And then you go in and you, you, you find something that resonates with you that will help you materialize something in the 3D that will... Uh, help your ego in a positive way because i'll say again ego is not innately negative everything is innately neutral so yes if you go through that you can have a positive ego and when you're there well my experience with ego death, it's definitely uncomfortable. I think I mentioned that earlier. However, it's part of why I'm here making this video right now. And why I'm talking about it, right? I had some negative qualities that, uh, in my ego. Then I meditated and did my healing work of how I like to do it. Had the ego death, experienced it, then went in, of course. And we're just like, okay, so like, what What can we do? What, what am I feeling called to do to increase my confidence and so on and so forth? And then, bada bing, bada boom, now here I am. And, nah. You know, talking about the ego, talking about forgiveness, talking about positivity and the chakras and all this stuff. So, yep. There is, there can be positivity in the ego if we work for it, right? So, um, I'm feeling called to talk about, um,
how we are each reflections and projectors of things we should be focusing on. And I am trying to figure out how to put it all together. So, again, just like, we'll have three segments to this. I have, if I'm being 100% honest with myself and you guys, I have been putting off three videos I have wanted to upload. And that is the forgiveness one that I just, uh, that we just did, right? Um, that one came the most fresh, uh, or most recently. Then there was this ego one, and then this next thing that I'm going to talk about. So, um... So yeah, I know what I can do. So, pause the video, take a screenshot. Uh, if you want to save any of this uh, for like recollection while you're out and about at your job or whatever, if you have downtime, etc., etc. So, I'll give you a countdown of five. If you even need one, you can just pause the video. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Okay, uh, that's not the right way. There we go, we'll go like that. Brush. All right. So, let me drink some water, and then we'll go into this third, and I believe, final part of the video. So. Well, whatever. So, um, I'll write it as this. We are each, or we are both projectors and reflectors. Now, I'm going to be leaving, uh, I'll write continuously here. Let's see. Continuous. Oops. So uh, I'm going to leave human design out of this because I know roughly what it's about. In my eyes, it's kind of, it's got a lot of depth to it, just like astrology and all that jazz. Um, and I know projectors and reflectors are two different um categories in it um and i'm not going to be talking about that because i haven't studied human design uh very in-depthly uh and quite frankly i don't really care to um just because of my own personal beliefs that we can get into at a later time um what i'm purely meaning by this is that for projectors right we spew out things right uh you know when we say somebody's projecting right um you know they're projecting something that is uh deep within them and we usually say um, that somebody's, or at least think it, uh, that somebody is projecting, uh, when they're saying, uh, like, not so great things, you know, like, some negative things, uh, I don't really have any examples off the top of my head, and I really don't want to, you know, kind of like, just back to, uh, earlier where, uh, I'll, I'll use to, like, going in and, like, yelling at the staff at Mickey D's or whatever. Um, right? Saying that the sandwich isn't good enough, it's probably a projection of them not feeling good enough or being a perfectionist or something like that, you know. We need to get into the nitty-gritty details of that. I'm sorry if you hear me breathing deeply into the mic. I feel like I've been just going absolutely am with my words just Going, 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 going for timer says 50 minutes. That's crazy. 
All right. All right. Now I'm going to put that very deep breath into the mic. So, right, projectors, you know, uh, spewing feels a little, so I'll say, um, I'll say spreading. Um, internal thoughts slash feelings. And then reflectors. Or is it reflectors? Is reflectors the word I want to use? Yes, yes it is. And if these definitions line up to human design, cool. Wasn't my intent, so, um, you know, the reflectors, you know, kind of like a mirror reflecting like they... <laughs> you know reflect uh, I'm trying to think of a different way to you know say it other than just the word reflect you know uh, I'll, I'll say this bounce back uh, energy to the world we'll put it like that so just kind of go I, I was briefly talking about it uh, at the beginning with forgiveness right so if you are carrying around thoughts and feelings of hate anger resentment sadness um loathing right etc etc there, there's nothing wrong with feeling these emotions right I am not saying don't feel your emotions. That is not what I'm saying at all. Feel your emotions. However, be cautious. I don't know if cautious is the right word. Act appropriately, right? The person at Mickey D's who you yelled at for, well, not you, but, you know, in this scenario, right? Uh, that was yelled at by a person, whether it's you or somebody else. Um, probably did not deserve that. Um, and thus, that is why I'm saying that. You can feel your hate, your anger, your resentment, your sadness. I have felt all these emotions myself, and they are powerful emotions. And emotions are very powerful in general. However, spreading that hate to someone who just is trying to get by, you know... Right, they got the same bills. They got probably children. They got they got bills to pay. I can assure you, of some sort. We all got bills to pay of some sort. So they either got they they definitely got bills to pay. They may or may not have kids. They may or not not may not have pets. I don't remember everything that I put on the list. However, they got bills. They got things to do. They got they have a reason why they got that job. And I can assure you, they're very similar to you, and they more than likely did not deserve that rant of whatever uh, that you gave them for messing up your messing up the order. So, that's a little spiel right there. Uh, however, I'll continue with saying, feel these. Right? However, heal them. Feel them and then heal them. Because if you were walking around with this, right? Let's just say this. We'll draw like a person around it, right? Here's your arm. Here's your torso. Here's your other torso. 
right? And then this is like your head. I'm very good at drawing people. I'm the best artist. Um, right? You're just walking around with this inside of you. That's heavy. That's a lot of stuff. Look at look at look at that. That fills up most of you. I ain't even. Man, I mean, I cut it off here, but you know, if we're being more accurate, your waist is probably around here. That's that's what like four fifths of your body. You know, like that's a lot of stuff. I don't know, put eyes here. Right, and you're sad. Cause you got sadness in you. So, you know, if you're walking around with this stuff inside of you, that has each of these have energies. So, our thoughts and feelings, right? They project outwards, right? Here's some the energy like flowing out, right? Zip zapping out, zip zapping out. then people around us will then reflect i'm just gonna i'm just gonna draw a stick men right the timmy over here who's happy you know what he might uh, i'll probably start reflecting some of this right it, it you know that there can be a lot more said about this. Right? It, Timmy's happy, you know, he's probably hanging around happy people and whatnot. And people who don't carry hate, anger, any of this around. With them. And again, I am not bashing you if you are carrying this around with you. Right? It is just... A moment to message, if you will. To... If you are carrying it around with you, to look inward and ask yourself why and heal it. Um, so yeah, here's, here's, here's John, I'll say he's walking around with all this stuff and it meets Timmy and, you know, Timmy, he's a pretty happy guy. And, you know, unfortunately John is, uh, you know, he's had a rough day and, you know, and unfortunately Timmy's going to get some, some of this hate and anger spewed at him. And, you know, maybe Timmy is unfortunately not super confident or something like that. So he, he then spews some back. And there you go. John was a projector. And Timmy reflected the energy. And then, you know, the cycle will continue. Right? Timmy says it in response. John will probably say something. Blah, 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 right? Go well, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And that's what can happen if we don't heal. And I'm trying to move forward with it because if the, the, the opposite can happen as well, right? If you have like love, kindness, Compassion, care, right? Nurturing, if you will. You have these aspects about you, and you're walking around with them. We'll just draw. <laughs> we'll just draw circles this time. I uh, just walk around, then you'll, you know, let's say this is also John, right? And then John meets Timmy again, right? And Timmy, he's happy, right? And John, you know, spews this to Timmy, and Timmy's going to spew it back, and boom, 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 right? We are both projectors and reflectors continuously. So, if you notice something, a synchronicity, if you will, around you, 
or whether it's, you know, a conversation next to you while you're at a restaurant or in a store or something, or something on the TV or in a YouTube video, or even in a conversation with your own friend, your own friends. And you notice more of the first one where it was like hate and anger and resentment, all this jazz, toxicity, if you will, if you want to boil it down to that if you play a lot of video games, online video games, right? Another deep breath. Saying a lot. Take it. Not only as a moment to critique what... Not only as a moment to not critique wrong choice of words take it not only as a moment to observe your friends and how they act however take it as an opportunity to observe how you potentially act because right if we are both projectors and reflectors right if Right, like look just right here. If John's walking around with all this, then you know, and he's just spewing out all this love and kindness and compassion and his like radiance field or whatever, right? He's gonna attract Timmy, and he's gonna attract the Tina, and he's gonna attract Tommy, right? That, that, here's Tommy, right? And he's gonna attract uh, Thorin. And he's going to attract the Jim and Ariandel. Uh, yep. I just said that name. <laughs> you know, and Ariel and uh, fucking Amy and Joan and fucking, you know, it's got, and all of these guys are positive too. Right, he's, it's, he's putting out all this love and kindness and compassion and whatnot, you know, nobody's perfect, you know, he might be having a tough day or something, so he's got an RSB, you know, rest in bitch face, so, you know, but, you know, he walks by them and they give him a smile and he'll give them a bright ass smile back, you know, and that's just something to open up your eyes to. Right? We are the creators of our own world, and we are both projectors and reflectors. So, we project our thoughts and feelings into the world. If you are noticing whether your friends, uh, external sources around you, whether it be television, YouTube, etc., etc., uh, are projecting more of the negative stuff like hate, anger, and resentment, and so on and so forth. Take it as a little token, if you will, that perhaps you are doing the same. And if you're not, well, then I would ask, I, I know I would ask myself, well, then why am I watching this? Why am I paying attention to this? I want more love, kindness, compassion, keep feeling called to say hippie shit and I don't know why <laughs> but I'll say it because it's funny and I like saying it it's funny uh if you are feeling called to be more around that um kindness and compassion I didn't feel called to say it at that time um <laughs> uh though if you're feeling more called to be around that then I would you know question if I really need to be watching the content that I'm watching. And if you're probably seeing this video, I know I'm saying it like a whole hour in, you're probably already questioning some of that stuff, or at least willing to question it. So, you know, I, th I think that's about it, because I kind of went over this right at the beginning, right? I just... Tried to go a little bit more in depth with it, um, which I kind of, kind of did, kind of didn't. 
Um, I think I just offered different ways of saying it and thinking about it slightly. Um, I'm feeling like there needs to be one more thing to say, and that is, I love you. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I'm being called that it, this is not it. <laughs> it is not the outro. Um, it is something about this. Oh, yes. And um, I, I was talking about filtering out the stuff, which is great. Um, however, words are also very important. Um, they're like spells. They are spells. Uh, if you want to talk wizardry, right? So... Cleansing your palate, if you will, of all the negative is a fantastic step. The next step, if you're wondering what that is, is to then, in your own way, which is unique, right? Whoops, I keep... I haven't actually, I haven't actually hit the mic a lot this video. That's good. That's good for... That's good. That's good. <laughs> um, is to then go out into the world and then project this love and kindness through words and actions right cleansing your palate is a great step that is a really good foundation that has really good fundamentals for this um for this stuff and then the next step is going out and projecting the love and kindness more i'm being called to say verbosely you know more predominantly more proactively right so maybe you feel called to do i don't know tarot readings or maybe do uh, something similar to this video or maybe you just feel like posting happy-go-lucky comics or cartoons or something on instagram or on youtube or anywhere that you can right it's about spreading your love in the best way that you know how that, that's the next step so it, it it'll look different for all of us uh, i know this is part of one this is one of the ways uh for me at least and uh your way might look completely different it might look pretty similar who knows that's up to your own discernment which we can talk about later <laughs> so um now no now i'm feeling called to say hey I hope yeah I hope you liked the video. I was rambling for a long time. I think I said some pretty important stuff for pretty much that for like the whole video. <laughs> At the very least 95%. Um So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned some stuff. I hope I gave you at least one thing to think about because that is part of my goal is to uh, help cultivate the mind, help cultivate thinking. Thinking is good. Um, thinking leads, to, thinking leads to questions, and questions lead to answers, and answers lead to more questions, and that is fantastic. Um, and if you're here, you probably have some questions. So I hope I answered some of those questions. And if not, well, perhaps I can answer them in a different video. Uh, or in the comments, or in some way, shape, or form. Or perhaps you can answer the question yourself by doing some meditation, and so on and so forth. So, yeah. We like our thinking caps here. So, make sure... Ah. Got some mustache hair going up my nose. Making it itchy. <laughs> so, yeah, we like our thinking caps here, so... Uh, make sure you bring it. <laughs> uh, I don't have my thinking cap around, but I do have a thinking hood. So, boom. Bring, bring your thinking cap, bring your thinking hood. And, um, yep. 
<laughs> keep asking questions keep moving forward keep healing keep yep keep healing keep working keep doing all the good stuff that resonates with you and i love you and i hope you have an absolutely wonderful amazing fantastic time wherever you might be and i will see you again very very soon bye bye Nope, that wasn't the right button. <laughs>